Hey guys, welcome to another Football Manager video here on the Chesnoy Plays channel. Today, as you see top right, it is January the 1st, 2023. Time to do some transfers. And we will be looking to be active in this window with both incomings and outgoings, if everything goes according to plan. With regards on the field, however, we have the chance to get through to the next round of the EFL Trophy in the first game today against Forest Green. They are currently top of the league below, so it's not going to be an easy game by any stretch. We're in half-decent form, though, which is different to the form we were in before that. So I'm hoping the fact that we've actually only won one in our last five doesn't affect it too much, and we can get back to winning ways sooner rather than later. Wimbledon will be tough away, but then Northampton we should hopefully win, and Wednesday and Cheltenham are certainly games we could get a point from, but there's probably quite a bit of transfer action to come in the meantime, so drop the video a like if you're enjoying. Make sure you join me on the link down below to Twitch so you can come and watch these live, and of course, subscribe to the channel here on Chesno Plays to so make sure you don't miss out on any more of these edited highlights, but for now, I'm going to hit continue, and well, I'm, uh, I'm going to continue, so I'll see you in a moment. We owe him 3,700 pounds as per his loyalty bonus and the bid is three thousand six hundred pounds so even though i'm selling a player i'd still be out of pocket by a hundred quid but he just doesn't play for me so we'll accept that that's fine a bid for ironside as an important player for newport unfortunately not going to pay any of his wages but they made it non-negotiable so i will accept that's ironside going to be going out sean stewart joins us on loan as well purely as a backup Nothing more than that, but it's good to have another body in. Sam Smith gets player of the month for December as he scores five goals and gets two assists in six games. He was spectacular, though, to be fair to him. And Dimi Mitov is growing okay. Decent League One player, good League One player in the future if he continues to grow well. He and Will Mannion are both about the same sort of level, really. Deals for staff. Adam May is going to go to Lincoln. When Adam May goes to Lincoln, which has happened now, I'm going to go and sign, literally, as if by magic, Lincoln sold, and Magic Gomez is the man I want to replace him, and the full scout report has finally come in for him. So I am going to make an offer for Magic Gomez. They want nine and a half grand. I'd rather not pay all of that. I'll offer them £7,000. Accepted. Seven and a half grand with 20% of the profit from the next sale. Going back to crew. He's extremely interested or incredibly interested in negotiating terms and wouldn't want much. Sweet. That is Adam May replaced with a better player instantaneously. To potentially get through to the next round of another cup competition. Inok Asante up top. Courtney Senior in the midfield. Ben Stevenson's half decent. They are, like we say, they are top of League 2. So we will be playing them in the league next season provided we stay up. I'd rather it not go to pens like it did against Plymouth. Is that a pen? It is. Oh, I've... No, I swear I took Lancaster off penalties. I swear I gave them to Sam Smith instead. I have. Sam Smith's taking it. Okay, good. For a minute. Buried. We lead. Thank you, Sam. That's what Jack Lancaster hasn't been able to do for us this season. We are 1-0 in front. We'll actually now move back off attacking, back to positive. Good. Good. Forest Green have had a much better second half than they did the first. But, crucially, they haven't put the ball in the back of the net. And we've just done that for a second time. So, Sam Smith at the double. And that will be us through to the next round of the Johnson's Paint Trophy. It's not called the Johnson's Paint Trophy anymore, is it? It's called the Papa John's. Nice to be another win on the board. After the league form had back-to-back -back draws. Well done, lads. Pleased with that. We've got... Oh, brilliant. We're away from home against Swindon. In the quarterfinal. The team that knocked us out of the FA Cup. Great. Oh, they have made a bid for Harvey Nibs. Lusitana La Rosa in the Portuguese third division have made a bid for Harvey Nibs of £95,000. He is not interested in the slightest in speaking to them, nor are we interested in the slightest in accepting their offer. Go away. Uwakwe happy to stay now. Good. We've, we've turned his morale around. 
Wimbledon are flying at the top end of the table up in the playoffs. They've got former Cambridge goalkeeper Will Norris in goal. Still got Paula Sue at, uh, at left back. Luke McCormick in the middle. Josh Coburn up top. Uh, revenge, revenge, revenge. Please, see if we can get it. I doubt it. Wimbledon are a side that we tend to lose to quite regularly in this save, unfortunately. But there is always the opportunity to try and turn your fortunes around, we hope and pray. Don't foul him. I can see it happening. Oh, that was wasteful, wasn't it? Chance from the spot for Wimbledon. For Chislet. A tucks it away very very well indeed Lancaster is knackered so Shiloh Tracy will come off the bench to try and get involved Lloyd Jones is having a shitter good goal Callum by 2-0 Wimbledon we anticipated this happening so I'm going to get too carried away as soon as the bird is going to come on loan we have a new backup striker Hopefully he can do the business for us when called upon better than Tomenishkov can. Fish is... Oh, for fuck's sake. And now Digger as well. Tight groin. Why are all of our players falling by the wayside? What's happening? Everyone's either getting a cold or they're getting injured or they won't sign contracts quickly enough. Oh my God. This cold is ravaging through our whole fucking squad. That's three players now. That have had to be sent home with this cold bug. Not good, man. We have to make sure we get ourselves a victory here. They've lost seven straight games. Sam Winnell up top for them continually. Kabamba apparently is a player to watch out for, according to the media. Um, we need to we need to get the win. We need to pile on the misery here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, attacking. Right from the off. We're going to get at them, hopefully. And that, because an early goal could hopefully knock their confidence so much so that they just don't fight back. Uh, we're still trying to sign the left back. Still trying to sign the left back. Oh, keeper's come and he's got nowhere near it. We do get the early goal we were after. Ocadina scores from a set piece for a second time. But that's the keeper's fault. He's got absolutely lost there. What he's doing... There in the first place, I've no idea. His starting position's all wrong. He gets nowhere near the ball. So straightforward first goal for us. Harvey has support. The Wackway's in. He loves scoring a goal at the minute, Tarek. He's going to earn us a penalty. But Sam Smith isn't on the field of play. So who's going to take it? That's the question. Looks like it might be Harvey Nibs. If we can get a second before half time from the spot, that would set us up nicely. We're not set up nicely. We've missed another penalty this season. We have missed more than we've scored. That's the fourth or fifth missed penalty this season. Up we go, please, Danny. Well up. Soon St. Bell brings it down. He's had a decent debut, Soon St. Bell. He's not had much action. But he's been a willing runner. He's had a close close call. With a, a chance in the opening few moments. And now, Sholo Tracy has managed to finish the game off. That should be game over now. Could set Soonsup Bell through there, but didn't quite either with the delivery. There's Davenport. It does fall to Soonsup Bell, and he will grab a goal on debut. Well done, young man. Best reactions of anybody in that box then to pick up that loose ball and turn it home. Idel's cross was dangerous. Keeper made a good save from Jacob Davenport, but it's fallen to Soonsup Bell, who on the volley gets it home. This is one of the best all round performances of the entire season. With regards to overall player performance, stats, XG, etc. So I can't say anything other than I was absolutely exceptional, lads. Well done. Good. The Wackway is growing, which is good news. A leading championship right winger. Intr intriguing. Application rejected. Increasing his ways to £2,000 per week would earn him enough points. He's agreed to sign... But he won't get. He won't have a wage budget. I'm oh, sorry. He won't have a work permit. Right. 
Okay, brilliant. So now what then? Thank you for the follow, Stephen. This is the first time someone has um, agreed to sign for me without the uh, without the the work permit. So he has settled. He has settled status until the first of January next year. Then I'd need to apply for a work permit for him. Presumably, Dimmy is the same then till the first of. Okay, I, I understand now then. He has settled status until... Because he was already in the country. He's not coming into the country. It makes sense now. I understand. Wednesday away is obviously going to be a much more difficult fixture. Callum Patterson's in his starting lineup. Delhi Bashiru. Shea Dunkley at centre-back. Will Smith's decent, I think, in goal. Matt Phillips is going to be dangerous. You'll all recognise that name. Liam Doyle on the bench. Kyle Vassell. Jack Hunt. Experienced right back. Davenport into Nibs. Oh, it's a lovely ball to Lancaster. He's got Sam Smith in the middle, if you can find him. Many more there now. Still shakes off the defender. Nibs! Goal! At Hillsborough! But for the away side! Harvey Nibs! Gets on the end of Jack Lancaster's cross. And we have ourselves a 1-0 lead. In the 21st minute. I changed him to an inverted winger, Jack Lancaster. And he's right out there on the touchline. But he's beaten his man. The defender at the near post misses it awfully. And that is straightforward for us. Only second season in. Won the playoff season one on an unreal run of form in the middle of the season. Going unbeaten in 25 games. Nice. Currently seeing 22nd in the championship after going winless in the first seven games. But won our last three. So on the up. You know, it's just a case of getting up to speed in the new division, I guess, isn't it? Goal has been coming, and it's taken 30 seconds of the second half, which has not really helped. Hold on. This would be a good point for us. Really good point. It's been an entertaining game. 35 chances on goal. Super high XG for both sides, but we are going to hold on for a point at Hillsborough, and we will absolutely take it. Very proud of that result. Well done, gentlemen. It's not very often as a side like Cambridge United, you go to someone the size of Sheffield Wednesday and take something away from it. Very pleased. Right, Swindon knocked us out of the FA Cup this season. We have the chance for a little bit of revenge if we can get it. I can't recall what team they played last time they played us, but Sol Campbell is still their manager, despite the fact they've had a little bit of a wobble in form recently, but... Certainly, I want to get revenge on Swindon. Is away from home again, though. So we have lost this exact fixture earlier on this season. Look how defensive they're lining up. That's terribly on the back foot. They are probably going to look to pounce on us with counter-attacks as often as they possibly can. Come on, Tariq. You've got bongs on the overlap. Never mind, you're going to go solo. Lovely cross. Sam Smith over the bar. Wayne with a 13th month on an 8 month streak. Thank you my dude for continuing the subscription. If we make a mistake and end up letting them catch us on the counter and lose it, I'll be furious. Tracy, Nibs. Oh, over the bar. Bloody hell. I've got it set to... I changed it to... I changed it away from shoot on sight as well. He's still shooting on sight. 22 shots but only 7 on target. That's the issue. Straight to pens. Not great. Not great. Well. Stay calm and back yourselves and we'll be fine. Will Mannion was the penalty hero last time we were in this scenario in the cup. What is it with us and penalties this season? I've never known anything like it. The amount of missed pens we keep getting. I genuinely have not known anything like it. Uh, don't worry, Default. You're not the first person to forget about me. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed the content back in the day. Mm. 
Another season in League Two. Oh, buried. Oh, I'm just... How can we dominate that game for so long the way that we did? Lancaster has missed his last three penalties, but he's buried that one. If you could have done that earlier in the season, Jack, that'd be lovely. That's a good pen. Oh, Mannion's not going to be our hero this time, is he? Sam Smith is going to be the villain. Our top goal scorer for the season. So far, missed the only penalty of the first seven pens. And if they bury this, then all they need to do is score their last one. And they Where is the keeper going? He was already walking that way before the guy even started his run up. If we miss this, we're out. Uh, no, I didn't change my YouTube name. Still Chesno Gaming. If we miss this, we're out. I specifically selected Davenport for pen five because he has 14 composure. He's buried it well. But if Swindon score this, they're through. Mannion was the penalty hero in the second round against Plymouth. We saw off Forest Green. And I think Swindon are about to knock us out of a cup competition twice in one season. Indeed, they are. Twice in one season, we lose away from home against Swindon Town. In a game where we had 22 shots, we couldn't score. They advance, we don't. Cheltenham struggling in the league, down in 16th. But they came up with us in real life, so you would expect them to be about where they are. Last year, they had a good season, though, finished up about 8th. They've got former Cambridge man Paul Lewis in there. Jack Payne is a very good central midfielder. We... Mentioned Matty Blair every time we come up against him. Alfie May on the bench. Tom Eves is a big, strong, physical striker as well. It'll be t tough to play against. Uh, let's try and pile the misery on for them if we can. If they've lost three of their last five. It's loose. Davenport nip nips in. Consumes up. I'll find a pass. Iwakwe. Nice take by Danny Rowe. He's got the pace to get down the wing. Good delivery. Soon up Bell! On the volley, Mers finds himself some space and tucks it away. But it was all about the delivery from the man out wide. Placed it perfectly where it needed to be for a rather simple finish. Delicious cross. Susop Bell backs away from the defender who misjudges the flight of it. And it's a, it's a lovely take. We will take the Wackway off who's starting to tie now. We'll bring Jensen Weir on in that Metzala role. we lead three defensive players on yellow cards isn't the best either i told you i fucking called it one one when they're throwing bodies forward as you can see but blake tracy stole them that to manage cough now is the time oh he's so bad five foot five but incredible stats for league one level for the size of club we're at, for the... Ugh. It's just painful. It's just painful. Is he right or left-footed? He's right-footed. Could be a 1-1 draw here against Cheltenham, unfortunately. Tomenishkov with the chance to put us in front late on, but we don't take it. Uh, we should have won that based on the chances we created. Dimmy's disappointed or demotivated from that. But he had a good game, to be fair to him. So I'm not surprised he's frustrated. And the club are now in debt. We officially have dropped to a negative bank balance. So despite being under budget considerably and still having money available to spend... I've purposefully chosen not to spend it so that we don't unnecessarily destroy the club's finances. Thinking long term, we do have a couple of players that we might be able to sell for a sizable profit or a sizable fee in the next two or three seasons, potentially. Players like uh, where are you? Players like Tarek Wakwe could be sold for a sizable enough fee if someone decided to come in for him. Um, 
Jack Lancaster could be sold for a decent fee. Not that we're looking to sell any of these players, by the way. Sam Smith would garner a, a decent fee if he continues to score goals the way he has done. Harvey Nibs, we got three and a half million for last year on FM. That was once we made it to the championship and we were a few, few more seasons in. Um, who else is worth a decent amount? Will Fish will be worth a hell of a lot by the time he's finished his progression. And he's with us for a few more seasons at least. They're the only players really that are worth a sizable amount, but still, it's enough to get us significantly out of debt and we could reinvest that money just in wages and we'd be okay. No worries, Buzzer. Catch you later, dude. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we can, we can keep things where they need to be financially and we won't end up going into too much debt Although there is still a half a season to go, so it is gonna it is gonna get significantly worse before it gets better. But the board are very happy with the way things are going so far, and they have been for the majority of the time that we've been here. We've not really ever really considered our job to be under threat. Again, we are pretty reliant on Nibs and Smith for goals. We haven't had anywhere near as many from midfield as we did last year. Jack Lancaster got almost double figures, didn't he? Nine and eleven assists. And he's not had a strong, uh, as strong a season. He's still had a, a decent year, to be fair. Can't be too critical. Seven assists in 23 games is not bad. And he has had troubles with fitness and stamina and injury. But everybody's relatively happy enough, other than obviously Tomenishkov, who just continues to not really do much, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm relatively happy with the way things are right now. The only, the only concern would be the finances. The only concern would be the finances, but hopefully the board will step in and and do something about that. If I go to... Actually, no, it would be on general. Uh, owner status loves the club. I'd expect him to put some more money in. In real life, the board have just put some more money in. £500,000 has been committed... Or £500,000 was committed at the beginning of the season to help cover losses... For the upcoming season, as in the season we're in right now, in real life. But we do have a number of players on the board. A hell of a lot of directors, evidently. Uh, but the, the chair is Paul Barry, who's joint owner with a couple of other guys. Adam Webb and Mark Green. So you, can, you can see we do have a lot of, a lot of people on board at Cambridge but it's because it's a very well run club at the minute which is very very pleasing actually got a lot of staff got a lot of staff but we'll see how the rest of the season goes we haven't really found any consistency of late but Cheltenham is a game we probably should have won if not could have Warsaw and Exeter, well, Warsaw particularly, then Exeter at home we could win. MK Dons is going to be tough. Lincoln we should win. Colchester we should win. Wigan will be tough. Fleet will be very hard. Crew will be difficult as well. Oxford, Barnsley, Derby. We've got a tough run in, actually. It's only really Doncaster, Wh Doncaster and Wickham. Yeah, we're not going to have a strong end to the season, so it has been important that we've picked up these points in the mid in the mid year. Because I don't see us getting many more than many more than 50 points between now and the end of the season as a to as an overall total. We got 65 last year, but seeing as I have so much editing to do, I'm afraid that is going to bring this video and this stream to a close. We'll stop the video first. So if you'd like to drop the video like on YouTube and subscribe to the channel, that would be very, very nice of you indeed. Join me on Twitch, link in the description down below where we stream Football Manager and FIFA as well throughout the course of, well, the rest of time now, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. And for now, that is all for this YouTube video. So I will see you in the next one. And hopefully you'll join me. I'll see you then.